What's up everybody, this is Stephen Palmino with uh, Visual Frameworks, Term 1307. I'm doing a review here of Project 2. Uh, I'm just going to go over the four usual questions, problems you encountered, or things that were harder than you thought they would be. Um, I had the hardest time with a one of the functions for my checkboxes was just not working. I followed the uh, the example pretty pretty closely and it just it just was not working. So uh, I ended up post posting on Stack Overflow, which is awesome. They're really great there, um, and uh, I got it solved. So that was great. Um, so those were I think that was the biggest problem. Uh, I had small problems with um, capitalization, uh, forgetting a letter, or stuff like that. Putting plural. I would put checked instead of check or something like that because I'd have different values and stuff like that. So that was it was pretty difficult, uh, but it kind of helped me to uh, stay on my feet and uh, remember to watch everything I type and naming conventions, and all that. So that was pretty uh, that was pretty challenging. Um, things you discovered or were easier than you thought they would be. I'm still surprised how not easy but straightforward it all is. Um, it it makes sense logically, and I guess that's why they they kind of call it logic and programming. But um, it's it's pretty it's a lot to take in and, and memorize and, and process. But once you really walk through the JavaScript, it's it's it all makes sense and all. It's obviously all there for a reason. But um, yeah, it's it's really easy to understand once you <laughs> know what it says. Uh, what do you think of CSS so far, or one thing you've learned about CSS that you didn't know? Pretty much everything. I did not know any CSS, so it was this is my CSS. Um, it's a lot easier than I thought it was. That would be. It. I don't know why. Uh, I thought it was this big mysterious thing, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty easy. To, it's pretty easy to understand. I like it. It's very simple, straightforward. There's no crazy weird nested stuff so that was that's fun uh, tell us how you think local storage is a benefit or disadvantage to your users uh, well local storage I guess uh, in terms of mobile or even uh, web I guess even if you're on a phone uh, for example my app is just it's just the continu continuation of last week's app uh, basically it's just a guitar you find a guitar, take a picture. No, you can't take a picture yet, but the, you know the idea is you want to be able to store stuff for later. So, local storage is great. Um, it would be great to you know be able to sync stuff in the clouds type of storage, but uh, I'm sure that it'll come later. But uh, definitely an advantage to be able to store stuff locally. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, this week was it was really challenging. Uh, I'll probably end up polishing the app a lot more next week. Um, I really struggled to watch all the videos. There's like 30 plus videos, and uh, so that was pretty pretty hard to get through um, to pay attention and really really get it. So um, again, this is the review of Project Two. Uh, it was a great week. Uh, I'm excited for week three, and uh, thanks for watching.